So, dear friends, good morning all. I am going to talk about today fasting. You know, yes, because uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters are fasting today. And you know, I want to tell about what fasting is really. Because Muslims, brothers and sisters are feasting, not fasting. So, according to Christianity, fasting means abstaining from eating or drinking or personal pleasure. Okay? So, when we fast, in Matthew, Jesus said, When you fast, be not be as hypocrites of sad countenance or disfigure faces that they might be seen or by men. So Jesus said, when you fast, don't be fake and hypocrite. You need to fast like, you know, as if nobody knows that you are fasting. And you need to fast like that. But these Muslims, they show every to the whole world. They are doing, uh, uh, breaking the fast on the road as well. Have you seen the rallies? And it says, clean your face and look good. That no one know that you are fasting except your father in heaven who sees you in secret and who will reward you openly. That's what God says. And in the Bible it says in Isaiah 58, fasting is also lose the band of wickedness, feed the hungry, clothe the naked and help the poor. And these Muslims they say, we also do that. But you know, they do it only to get numbers from their Allah. They don't do it from heart. They get add numbers to their good deeds, uh, you know, rewards, rewards, rewards. Uh, but yeah, God like says, like Tesco points. yeah, Tesco points, uh, like okay, okay, okay. club card points, uh, yeah, uncle, okay. club card points. So Jesus said, do it not to show, do it from your heart. Jesus said, yes, Jesus said clearly, when you feed the hungry, feed the lame, clothe the naked whatever you are doing to the poor you are doing it to me that's what Jesus said and Jesus said and you know last year last video I made uh, somebody commented that you know how can we fast 40 days 40 nights my dear friends Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights and what is fasting fasting according to the Bible is inner transformation and to grow, to grow in spiritually, to go in spiritually. The way to draw closer to God, way to grieve and feel the broken, the broken, a deeper connection. You know, fasting is just spiritual discipline, a deeper connection with God. And fasting is to find renewal and strength in God. So don't do fasting for show off. And like you people, you fast for a few hours, Muslims. You fast for a few hours from sunrise to sunset. And then you eat like a pig, honestly. And between 3 to 5 a.m., you eat again. So your food is full in your body. There is, you're not hungry. You're going to be hungry only for maximum eight hours. So dear friends, when three between three and five you get up again and you eat like anything you eat and hog like anything you swallow the whole camel eh? you swallow the whole camel you swallow the whole goat between three and five a.m and you eh? eat a lot and then after sunset they'll go and see the moon why they see the moon because moon god moon god they see the moon yes and in the bible not just Jesus fasted, okay. lot of prophets fasted, Moses fasted, Indeed. Esther fasted, Indeed. Joel fasted, Indeed. Ezra fa fasted, Indeed. Isaiah, Daniel, yeah. David, Nehemiah, yeah. Paul and many of the disciples. Right. So dear friends, yeah. fasting is not for show off. Who are you fooling Muslims? Are you fooling yourself or are you fooling God? So when you fast, yeah. do it in secret that your father, who see, the God who sees you in secret, will reward you openly. And so, fake. and don't show off, don't be fake. Uh -huh. You know, go, going on the bridges and fasting and hitting your body, hitting your body. That is not fasting. Hitting your body and fasting and showing off to the world that we are fasting. But 
from sunset to sunset you hog like a pig and from 3 am to 5 am you hog like full camel you swallow and that's what it is so don't do that okay. and jesus said that help the poor help the needy so don't stop helping because your jesus is god who told to help the poor and the help the needy so when you are giving help to anybody is you are doing it for jesus christ who is not the east of islam Jesus Christ, the God of the heaven and the earth. Yeah. We wrap up. So yeah. Where did the Muslims get the idea of Ramadan? Where did they, where did they get the idea of fasting like in Ramadan? Where? Okay. Jews, ah. Pagans, yes, Muslims, yes, yes, yes. Chinese. Muslims. Ah. Okay. Fasting. Yeah. They copied it from the Bible. Ah. Muhammad, you know what Muhammad did? He copy, he copy paste man. Okay. He copied most of the verses from the Bible. and he took the fasting but he didn't understand what bible says exactly so he made allah does not want you to suffer he wants you to eat in between but my dear friends yeah. fasting is from your heart spiritual fasting, spiritual fasting. Right. you get closer to god yeah. and it's for your spiritual growth right. so, and yeah. renewal of the growth right. a deeper connection with the god of uh, almighty exactly. and the god in secret will reward you openly yeah. so don't show off and don't, don't be fake don't be hypocrites another thing i want to tell yeah, jesus said yes last one right. jesus said when you pray yeah. go in your closet yeah. and pray secretly right. the yeah. father in heaven will reward you openly but what these muslims do right. they pray everywhere they are I praying know. outside the, the park ah, okay. they are praying outside the they are praying to the bush there they are, they are, the bush. Ah, to the bush there outside ah. yeah so they are praying wherever they when 5 o'clock comes they lie down like anything on the road so dear friends hypocrites this is what hypocrites and fake don't show your fake in business to god god sees god says i am holy i am righteous i am just and do everything to glorify my name not to glorify your, yourself so muslims you are not fooling god you are fooling yourself amen in jesus name amen thank you